leading the nation in school communications, award-winning D93 News starts now. Hello, welcome to D93 News presented by Farm Bureau, Bonneville County. Today we are coming to you from the brand new restaurant near Thunder Ridge. It's home to some of the best tacos you'll find anywhere. Of course, we are talking about the Rusty Taco. We'll have more a little later in our show. Our top story this week is the weather. Yeah, back to back school closures for our cold weather days. Caught up with Superintendent Wilson Hume to see what went in to this important decision. One interesting thing about this morning was after we sent the notification home to parents last night saying that there wasn't a wind chill advisory, uh, one came in about 9.30 and so that was a little bit of a concern. We wanted to make sure we were up early and checking to see what the wind chill actually was. Interestingly, that same advisory got lifted this morning and so things went much better this morning than the last two days. Uh, there, I think the vast majority of people understand, but there, uh, there are some in this community that think uh, that these decisions are made, uh, you know, they're money driven. Yeah, uh, and that really doesn't play a factor at all in, in making that decision to close school. No, it doesn't make a difference at all. So, um, as an emergency closure day, it doesn't impact our funding from the state. It, it has nothing to do with that. So, we're really just looking and saying, is it uh, is it safe for us to keep schools open for our kids today? Uh, one thing that surprised me this time, uh, just because I've grown up in eastern Idaho, I've been around minus twenty, minus thirty degree temperatures my whole life. Uh, the thing that surprised me is we really did have some pretty significant impact to our schools from the cold temperatures. So we had uh, some water freezing in pipes at a few different schools that then turned into a few water breaks. I just can't say enough great about our maintenance department who have been really, really uh, working to get everything back up and running for today. Um, our school buses had a really difficult time starting and it took our mechanics uh, putting in a lot of hours to get, make sure that those were up and running. So uh, it really did have an impact on our schools. And so if we would have tried to keep schools open, uh, it would have been there would have been a lot of issues with that just seeing how things went and how how much time our maintenance and transportation department personnel put in to getting our schools ready for today now back here at the rusty taco we're joined now by tony blakesley tony what is this tell us about this spread right here this here is a tres grande it's uh chips we, we fry here ourselves every day homemade queso homemade guac and homemade salsa christine you see this guacamole right here that looks amazing and then um, you gotta get you your beverage of choice, you know what I mean? It is school, right? <laughs> so, yeah. Nice. Um, uh, Tony's uh, Rusty Taco, what went into that decision to bring that to this gas station here? No, great question. So, when I joined uh, Good Go a year ago, there was like five options we looked at, and so I went and re investigated them all and looked at them all, and I really like Rusty Taco the best. I flew down to Phoenix, Arizona, ate there, like the food, the, the atmosphere is fun. And, and they actually started 12 years ago in Dallas, Texas in a gas station. Rusty is the guy who started the whole thing and, and he bought an old gas station with the roll up doors. And, and so I'm like, what a great fit, what a great story. So it's, it, they align very well with us and it's just, I mean, great food and a great atmosphere. And I mean, I, I love food and to you eat. You answered my question because I was like, Rusty, that could yeah. But it's a person. Yeah, it's a person. Oh, okay. It's not a, a <laughs> flavor, a color, a, one of the seven herbs and spices. It's yeah. like it's like right there with the, his name Rusty, and he's a great man, and his wife Denise is still in the business today, and so a great company, and a great food's been great. So and people might not know we tape uh, D93 News beforehand. It's actually lunch here uh, for Thunder Ridge. Christine, show all the people from Thunder Ridge. Those are all Thunder Ridge students. I imagine that played into it to put a restaurant in this gas station, uh, knowing that Thunder Ridge is right around the corner. Oh, it's, I mean, that's a big part of it. We, I mean, the, the, something's always been needed out here in Ammon. I live out here like a half mile away, and there's nothing really out here. I mean, so the thought of a gas station, a convenience store with sips and with a restaurant that's right here to take care of the students, and my kids drive up in the Razor and the four-wheeler, I mean, it, what more could it be? I mean, it's, it's a perfect location for it so it sure is and not only do you get tacos here but what do you get after your tacos oh the best my favorite part is a 99 cent ice cream cone <laughs> from next door to the convenience store and it's like it's just a 99 cent ice cream cone it's delicious and i mean it's I mean, it's five degrees outside and i still eat ice cream wow and so, uh jason lords notoriously uh picky and what did, he, what did he say about this place? He said this was really, really good. He, I think they've been here several times. Yes, You've yes. probably have seen yep. him. <laughs> he and Scott and Heath, yeah, they, they love coming here. And I love that because we're just supporting those uh, restaurants in our area, especially around where schools are, yeah. because these kids don't have very much time 
for lunch. And so what a great idea to bring this towards um, Thunder Ridge. They can get in and out and it's so easy because they can order on the app and just come pick up the window if they don't have a lot of time. And I mean, yesterday we had, you know, like I said, we, those people here yesterday and they had a great time and enjoyed it. And, you know, he Jackson loved it. And so that's a, that's a big win for me. If Heath likes it, I'm good. <laughs> Keeps me out of trouble. <laughs> well, Tony, we sure appreciate your time and for inviting us over. We have other stories, we'll get to that food in just a minute, but two legends are calling it a career after nearly three decades of service. And they're at the same school. We're talking about Laurel Trimble and George Ann Roberts, and we were there as East Idaho News surprised them with this Feel Good Friday. Happy Friday, everybody. Nate Eaton here. We are outside Rocky Mountain Middle School in Bonneville County. We have a fun surprise today. As you can see, my arm is full of flowers. I have chocolates here. Laurel and Georgianne have been head secretaries here at the middle school for decades. Laurel has worked here for 27 years and Georgianne for 29 years. They're both retiring this month. These women have given dedicated service to many students and staff throughout the years. They're kind, hardworking, uplifting women who always see the best in others. They should be recognized for their many years of service and education. It would be awesome if you could send them off for Feel Good Friday. And that's what we're gonna do today. Laurel and Georgian are here. I hope I'm saying Laurel's name now. It might be Laurel, but either way, we wanna wish them well. We have flowers for them from Ashley Home Store. We've got chocolates, and then each of them we're giving a gift card uh, that they can go out to dinner, celebrate the end of their careers here at the middle school. Let's go surprise them. Hi. What can I do for you? We're looking for Georgian okay. or okay. Laurel. I'm Laurel. Laurel, Laurel, I'm sorry. Is Georgianne here too? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah? Just Thank you. She should be right here. How's your day going? It's going good. Yeah? <laughs> it's going really good. Busy? Busy? Yeah. Yeah. You're almost done. I'm almost done. When's your last day? The 31st. Oh, wow. Like the last day of the month. Yeah, the last day of the month. And then what? Um, Travel a little bit, I guess. And my husband retired a year and a half ago, so... He's ready and I think we're just gonna plan on retiring and traveling and spending some time together, I guess. Oh, that's <laughs> exciting. And you've been here how many years? Uh, that'll be 28 years in September. 28 years, same uh -huh. school? Uh -huh. Well, we got a nice email about you and your colleague. She's retiring too, right? Yeah, she is. After, well, I'll, I can I ask her. Two, I think she's been here two years longer than I have. Okay, so you guys have just been together for most of your careers. A long time, that's yeah. why we thought we came in about the same time and we'll go out at the same time. Was that planned? <laughs> to go out at the same yeah. time? Yeah, like kind you always of, say we'll retire yeah, together? Yeah, we had kind of said that. Oh, okay, well we brought each of you some gifts for oh, Feel Good Friday. That's so nice. But I'm gonna, I'll wait to give them to you when she gets, is her office closed? Yeah, let me go grab her. Okay. Hi there, <laughs> Georgianne, how are you? Hi. I'm Nate with East Idaho News. Yeah. We're glad we caught you. You only have like 10 more days left, right? Something like that, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm trying not to count. <laughs> so are you ready to retire or no? Or both? Uh, mixed emotions. I'm, I'm getting kind of old and I've been here a long time, so it's time. You don't look old. Well, thank you. But we were just talking with Laurel here, and she was saying that you came about two years after her? No, before. Before, mm -hmm. before. Okay, so t almost 30 years for you. Mm -hmm. And what's been your favorite favorite thing about your job? Um, but that's a hard one. I, I really enjoy being with the kids. I even enjoy the paperwork, so yeah, that's kind of awesome. And what's your plan now? I don't have a real big one. It's the middle of winter. <laughs> I know. Well, uh, we, we probably will try and get out and do some cross country skiing, maybe, or some stuff like that. Yeah. Well, we wanted to come and thank you for our Feel Good Friday segment. So, we brought you to you some flowers. Oh, oh thank, thank you. So much. There you go. Thank and you. we brought each of you a box of chocolates and a gift card for, for dinner or lunch. Oh, oh. Oh, so, we planned on doing that. Well, good. Tuesday we walk out of the building. <laughs> we'll know where you'll so be. So we don't have any tears, too many tears. Well, that's going to be a big hole here at the school, I'm sure, to lose both of you. Well, we've loved it here. Rocky Mountain's the best. Yeah. We've just been home, home for many yeah. years. Yeah. Well, thanks for all you do, and best of luck in retirement. Well, thank you so much. Yeah, look at this delicious spread. We really appreciate Tony. And he wants to share the love with everybody as well, uh, we're gonna do a giveaway. So if you like, comment, or share for your chance to win one of the three sets of two free tacos, chips and salsa. Sam, you just tried that guac, how was I it? I did. I am really picky about my guac. And that is probably the best guac I've ever had. 
And I make really good guac, and that's pretty yeah, good. Yeah, you do. <laughs> well, that's going to do it for us. We certainly appreciate uh, Tony Blakesley and the Rusty Taco and the Good to Go family for hosting us here. And again, like, comment, or share for your chance to win. We'll see you next time on D93 News.